Glad you clicked that link. I'm Jared. This the LVME. We doing a smoking reaction because my boy Acal pulled an old school move and dropped some new music on a Tuesday. Man, my, my guy just did his country album, what, two weeks ago, I think, roughly. That dropped, and now in just this short amount of time, he's right back in the rap game. That's what I love about independent rappers. They can do what they want because a label would never let that happen. Never let that happen. I dug the rap, or excuse me, I dug the uh, the country album. It was cool. Not really my flavor of music these days, but I thought he did a good job with it. And a few songs on there I really liked. Uh, but this, 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 this has had me excited all day long. I was driving on my way to work and got the notification on my phone. So I've been sitting here thinking about this song called White Rappers all day long. Looking forward to hanging out with you, my friends, subscribers, fam. I am glad you are here. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. We are just like 100 people away from cracking that 10,000 number. Last time I looked, before we started recording, it was about 9,890, 895, right in there. So I appreciate any new subscriptions. Please hit that thumbs up button, and I got to let you know if you're brand new to the channel, your first time hanging out with me, and you haven't heard this song from Adam, this white rapper, I'm going to be pausing this thing. We're going to be talking about the bars. We're going to be talking about the beat. So if that's going to bother you, you want to hear this thing straight through, click on the link right down there in my description. It's going to take you to this song on Adam's channel where you can leave a like, give him a comment, and give him a subscription while you're there. Then hit the back button, come over here, hang out with us. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on what you're seeing, what you're hearing, and what you feel about all this. We're going to bring this up right here. Adam, we both sporting the jerseys. If you, if you don't know, I love my 90s hip-hop gear. Man, I got like about 30 of these vintage uh, starter jerseys right here, these baseball-style ones. I really dig these. I got a bunch of old rap tees, all that stuff. I actually sell a bunch of that stuff on my eBay store. You can go to the LVME.com. I'll just forward you to my store, uh, and you can find some of that on there if you want to support the channel at all. But now, enough of that noise. Let's go ahead and peep this out. Dude, Adam, Adam, Adam. But quickly before I start, one thing I do want to say that I think is really unique and cool about the, the time period that we are living in. If you are a fan of rap music, we are seeing something unique and interesting here. Because rap is so young, it just hit 50. And it just started getting, you know, mainstream a couple decades ago. You know, back in the, in the 90s, in the mid-2000s, the early 2000s, things started really getting to where we are at right now. And so we've never really seen how rap ages and back in the day we used to think that if you were old you weren't going to be respected as a rapper and now we've got eminem in his 50s right he's 50 isn't he he should be i can't quite remember that dude's birthday but he's getting close to that if he's not we've got other rappers over 50 we've got adam here in his 40s and they're putting out serious music it's not corny it's hard it's hitting, it's on point, and I think it's really fascinating to watch rap age like this and age so well. It's like when I was growing up, I could always tell when my dad was listening to his music because it sounded old, it sounded corny, you know what I mean? These old people making this old music didn't sound cool, and now we're, we're in a different situation where you can recognize what old, really old, like that late 70s, beginnings of hip-hop, early 80s sound is like but now i challenge you there's a lot of stuff if you if you never heard it from back in the day you wouldn't know it was old you would think it was new it's just fascinating to me to watch this happen let me know your thoughts in the comments now enough yapping let's dive into this adam calhoun white rapper i'm gonna bring this up full screen for me i like that jersey homie i like that jersey let's do this being young saying I'm a rapper and people would be like you're white yeah bitch I'm a white rapper I'm like dip set in 04 mixed with a blowtorch I seen grown men pitch coke like a pro sport no joke I don't care if you smoke snort or poke you make one wrong move you going broke fuck with me cracker all I see is a bunch of wanna be rappers ah. talking about beef need to eat salad oh, oh. Man, that beat, what the fuck? That beat has me. 
I'll give more thoughts on that in a second. I want to hear that. The beat's got me feeling some nostalgia right here. I'll just leave it at that. But hold on. He, he came out talking about some some OG rap collective right from the get-go. He said, I'm like Dipset in 04. You know what that is? Let me make sure that's what he said. being young saying, I'm a rapper. Yeah. And people would be like, you're white. See, I grew up in hip-hop too, man. Not, I don't mean I grew up in the music scene, but I grew up in, in the hip-hop culture. Uh, ever since I was very, very small, I stayed in that lane my whole life. So, I, And I was the lone white guy at way too many fucking things. You know what I mean? Um, and not that that was a negative experience. I'm just saying I, I've heard that before, although in a slightly different context. You know what I mean? Not that I'm a white rapper, but it's like, why are you this one white dude hanging out with all these um, non-white people? So I, I feel that in a way. You know, it was a weird thing it used to get. Like, these days, you don't really hear that so much. You know what I mean? The world's come a long way towards accepting... Um, different cultures and accepting different races in other cultures, prime um, things like like hip hop is black. We all know this. Like hip hop is a black thing. Back in the day, the few white people before Eminem really stood out. Whether you were in the culture, whether you were just hanging out, whether you were participating, I feel you. Yeah, bitch, I'm a white rapper. I'm like Dipset in '04. Yeah, Dipset in '04. Dipset is a rap collective started um, back in the day by Cameron. And Jimmy John, uh, Freaky was in there, Freaky Ziki, and uh, Jules Santana. Yeah, yeah. Now, Adam is a big Cameron fan. It makes sense. He throw that reference in right there. But I like this, man. Right from the get-go, we're getting that, that shout-out to the roots, to the OGs, to the people who went and laid the foundation. So people like Adam can be sitting here rapping for us right now. Rapper. And people yeah. would be like, Dude, this beat. Dude, that piano. I'm telling you. Yeah, it's bitch, making me I'm think of something. Rapper. I'm like Dipset in 04, mixed with a blowtorch. I seen grown men pitch coke like a pro sport. Nah. No. I seen grown men pitch coke like a pro sport, man. I seen professional drug dealers, yo. The pros. Joke, I don't care if you smoke, snort a poke. You make one wrong move, you going broke. Nah. Fuck with me, cracker. All I see is a bunch of wannabe rappers talking about beef. Nah. Fuck with me, cracker. All I see is a bunch of wannabe rappers. That's like a A B A A B. That's a nice little rhyme set right there. That's a nice. That's just nice lyricism right there. No joke. I don't care if you smoke, snort a poke. You make one mm. wrong move, you going broke. Fuck ah. with me, cracker. All I see is a bunch of wannabe rappers talking about beef. Need to eat salad, be rabbit. Ah. Your whole diet's plant based. You couldn't stomach milk. That's a nice little me, double right here. All I see is a bunch of wannabe rappers talking about beef. Need to eat salad, be rabbit. Talking about beef, you need to eat salad, be rabbit. That's a nice little double right there. Like eat salad, like be a rabbit. And rabbits eat salad, right? Or eat salad, be rabbit. Like be rabbit uh, from uh, 8 Mile. Bit, your whole diet's plant-based. You couldn't stomach milk. Yeah. On the court filled the white boys in tight shorts. I'm Will. Don't ah. you mad on a court filled with white boys in tight shorts, I'm Wilt. That's a reference to Wilt Chamberlain right there. And back in the day, in Wilt's day, like in the 70s on a basketball court, they wore them, them short, tight shorts with the big, tall socks. If you want to talk some corny looking-ish, that did not age well. That's a nice, that's a nice bar right there. Another a nice with this old school flavor right here, this old school. And I tell you what, while I got this pause right here, I know what this beat is reminding me of. We got... We got that, it's that piano in the background and that bell specifically. Man, this is giving me that flavor like, uh, how should I say it? it? It's making me feel like Adam might have dug this beat out of one of the hidden 36 chambers. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling like, like in the background you might hear some, some killer bees. That's the flavor I feel. About beef, need to eat salad, be rabbit. Your whole diet's plant-based, you couldn't stomach milk. Yeah. On the court, fill the white boys in tight shorts, I'm Will. Don't get mad, little fags, ain't you said rap's a sport? I'm running faster toward, you still like a captured tortoise. Ah. Got Don't get mad, little... You said rap's a sport. Again, he's keeping with that same theme, like he was just naming Wilt Chamberlain a second ago. He's talking about rap as a sport. And then listen to this nice little bit of wordplay right here. Court filled the white boys in tight shorts, I'm Will. Ah. Don't get mad, little fags. Ain't you said rap's a sport? I'm running faster toward. You slow like a captured tortoise. I'm running faster towards it. You slow like a captured tortoise. Towards it, tortoise. That's a great rhyme right there. That's fucking tight. 
Sports got contact. My ram will smash your Taurus. Mm. Trucks stick the fuck out of you. Alfred Morris. Keeping with the sports theme right there, Alfred Morris is an NFL running back. He said my Ford is something to your Taurus. What? I'm running faster toward you still like a captured tortoise. Sports got contact. My ram will smash your Taurus. Sports got contact. My ram will smash your Taurus. That's dope because a Taurus like has the horns. Ram Taurus, very nice little little bit of wordplay right there. And then you got the little Alfred Morris NFL bit right there, keeping with this sports theme. My boy going all out right here. This is fucking nice. And that, if you don't know what I was talking about earlier, I threw a graphic on the screen to make sure you got it when it comes to where I feel like this beat is reminding me of. It's got that flavor. Like, it doesn't sound just like them. It's just got that flavor. It got that, that fucking, like, touch of RZA in there. Trucks stick the fuck out of you. Alfred Morris slap the door, fucking devil the wall. Not for me, for you. I'ma mm. show up, won't even call. The root of all leave. Ah, did you hear that? Taurus, trucks stick the fuck out of you. Alfred Morris slap the door, fucking devil the wall. Not for me, for you. Lock the door, deadbolt the wall. Not for me, for you. Ah, that's a hard bar right there. That's fucking hard. Sports got contact. My uh. ram smash your Taurus. Trucks stick the fuck out of you. Alfred Morris slap the door. Fucking devil the wall. Not for me, for you. Ah. I'ma show up, won't even call. The root of all evil is how much you're willing to talk. And you've ah. been known to make moves like a bitch, so I guess that says it all. Ooh. The root of all evil is how much will you talk? You've been known to make a moves like a bitch. So I guess, wait. You, I'ma show up, won't even call. The root of all evil is how much you're willing to talk out of you. Alfred Morris, slap the door, fucking devil the wall. Not for me, for you. I'ma show up, won't even call. The root of all evil is how much you're willing to talk. And you've been known to make moves like a bitch, so I guess that says it all. You've been known to make moves like a bitch, so I guess that says it all. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Ah, oh, man, this beat is ridiculous. I really like his flow, his delivery over here. These bars are super tight. We got a lot of old school references in here. We got an old school beat on here. This is fucking hip hop right here. This is rap. This is why I've been in this lane my whole life, man. This is the music that just speaks to me right here, man. Like, I feel this in my, just my bones. And he's not even rapping like serious stuff. You know what I mean? He's just spitting bars. He's just flexing, fucking some hard music. Oh, wait, wait, he gonna sing too? Oh, the root of all evil is how much you're willing to talk. And you've been known to make moves like a bitch, so I guess that says it all. One for the money, better run for the hills. Two to get it cracking, talking shit will get you killed. Three to get it popping, I ain't talking about them pills. And four will get you stuck in the mud around here. One for the money, better run for the hills. Two to get it cracking, talking shit will get you killed. That is fucking tight, man. I like that chorus. That is so smooth, man. And with that shit, you hear them bells in there and that piano. This is very Wu Tangy to me. That chorus, man. Adam, you can you can just tell he's the doing that country album and singing all of those songs and all of that work. I can tell an immediate difference in his voice on this chorus right here, man. That sounded smooth as. Fuck, G. God damn. I ain't damn. talking about them pills. And ah. four, get you stuck in the mud around here. One for the money, better run for the hills. Two to get it cracking, talking shit will get you killed. Ah. Three to get it popping, I ain't talking about them pills. Yeah. And four, get you stuck in the mud around here. I cut a fine line like I'm using new scissors. Mm. I'm like Mike in his prime, you just Mike on the wizards. Ah. You suck on the mic. Ah. We are not alike. Ah. God damn! Fuck, bro, bro. Ooh, man. Ah, it's my favorite thing when rappers. There's, there's too much disrespect in today's modern rap, right? Like I remember these little mumble rapper cats talking all this shit about like all the fucking people who came before them, like trying to talk shit on even like greats like Tupac, like universally accepted greats. They're like, nah, fuck them. And this part of rap. 
and part of hip hop is paying respect to those that come before you. And part of showing your knowledge and your love of the game is making references like this. Like Adam loves rap music, you guys. Adam loves hip hop. You don't write bars like that if you don't love this music and this this history of great musicians, man. Let me let me run this back for you just a little bit here. Let me let me let me break it down a little here. Let me let me tell you what we're talking about. Get it poppin', I ain't talking about them pills. Uh. Before get you stuck in the mud around here. I mean he's throwing so many 90s references in here too. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, I cut a fine line like I'm using new scissors. I'm like Mike in his prime, you just Mike on the wizards. He said I cut a fine line like I'm using new scissors. You like Mike in his prime. I'm like Mike in his prime. You like Mike with the wizards. He's talking about Mike. Michael Jordan, he says, I'm like Jordan in his prime on the Bulls in the 90s. You like that that rehashed, unretired Michael Jordan playing for the Washington Wizards, like that fake shit, like that, almost like that carbon copy, you know what I mean? That past is prime, no good. Plus you suck on the mic, stuck then in the says, mud around here. I cut a fine line like I'm using new scissors. I'm like Mike in his prime, you just Mike on the Wizards. Plus you suck on the mic. And plus you suck on the mic, but it's mic with a different meaning, meaning the microphone. We are not alike. And then he says, we are not alike. That is a, for me, there's, there's no way he's not. For me, when, when a rapper says that, what he's saying right there is he's referencing Eminem and Royce to Five Nines, we are not alike. One of the greatest diss tracks to come out in, in, in quite some time. I think that was on Kamikaze. We are not alike is a, a lot of that was a response to MGK from Eminem. But so we got him referencing fucking Eminem. We got him referencing fucking Michael Jordan. Down here, I cut a fine line like I'm using new scissors. I'm like Mike in his prime. You just Mike on the wizards. wizards. Plus you suck on the mic. Nah. We are not alike. Ah. I'm the blueprint. 2001. Jigga. I'm the blueprint. 2001. Jigga. That is a Jay-Z reference. The Blueprint is the album that dropped in 2001, one of Jay-Z's greatest. And that last line right there, Jigga, is a reference to a song on there called Jigga That Nigga. And yeah, I said it. It's the name of the song. It's the name of the song. And that is just, that's love of hip-hop right there, man. He is just dropping bars, dropping references, talking about, I know my roots. I know the greats here. Let me fucking pay my respects to those that came before me. I'ma eat these motherfuckers like a bag of ruffles Crumble huh. up a rapper, smack his dumb ass, watch him fumble Yo, and then he follows that with just a sick ass double right here not alike, I'm the blueprint Shoot. 2001, Jigga I'ma eat these motherfuckers like a bag of ruffles He said I'ma eat these motherfuckers like a bag of ruffles Fuss crumble up a rapper, smack Crumble up a rapper. So that's a nice little double right there. He's going to crumble up the rapper of chips when he's done. But he's going to eat you like that. And he's going to crumble up a rapper. Like, I'm just going to crumble you, son. His dumbass watch him fumble. Ah. Every time you shoot your shot, your gun bro. Yeah, yeah, you dumb ho. Shoot, motherfucker, I'm a tumbo. Ah. You yeah. Mother- now he's throwing, he says, shoot, motherfucker, I'm a tumbo. Hold on. Hold on, there's some nice little three syllable rhymes in here. But smack his dumb ass, watch him fumble. Every time you shoot your shot, your gun broke. Yeah, yeah, you dumb ho, shoot. Okay, two syllable. But fumble, don ho, don bro. What the fucker, I'm a tumbo. I'm a tumbo. That's a reference to the Kimbe Matumbo. If you don't know who that is, man. Bro, that's a and that's a old, that's an old school reference. It's like Matumbo for me. Like I know the Kimmy Matumbo from back in the day. I'm talking about the Twin Towers back in the day. I'm talking about the Georgetown Hoyas. I'm talking about Alonzo Morning, the Kimbe Matumbo, Georgetown Hoyas, the Twin Towers, and of course he came through, played for the Nuggets after that, my home state's team. And I just gotta say, I love the name. The Kimbe Matumbo used in rap. Doesn't that just flow off your tongue? Like Eminem used a good, he had a good the Kimbe Matumbo. Like, what was it? Uh, uh, something about bigger than fucking the Kimbe Matumbo on the Jumbotron, something like that. It was off, uh, I think, Groundhog Day. I don't know. I can't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, the Kimbe Matumbo. Keeping it with a lot of old school sports references on this track. Bag of ruffles, crumble up a rapper, smack his dumb ass, watch him fumble. Uh. Every time you shoot your shot, your gun broke. Yeah, yeah, you dumb ho, shoot motherfucker, I'm a tumbo. Wahundo, you jumping out of plane, no sh- That's how he's like, shoot motherfucker, 
on Matumbo. Matumbo was also known for blocking shots, man. That was the Twin Towers did back in the day. Pull something underneath, smack that shit right the fuck out the air, son. That's what he's saying right there. He's like, go ahead and shoot your shot, little pussy-ass rapper. I'm going to just block that shit like Matumbo and smack it right out the air. Shoot, I was playing NBA, no hoop. We hung a nah. crate from the roof. Yeah. Bitch, I, live I was playing NBA, no hoop. We hung a crate from the roof. Yeah, I know all about that, man. I know all about that. You can hammer out the bottom, and so you, so it was just the crate. It turned into a square basket, so you didn't have to always dig it out. You know what I mean? Also keep it from bouncing out a lot of the times too, if you had kept the bottom in it. But you couldn't always get that thing out. The, the milk crates are tough. Shoot, motherfucker! I'm a tumbo, a ah. hundo. You jumping out a plane? No shoot. I was playing NBA. No hoop. Yeah. We hung a crate from the roof. Yeah. Bitch, I lived in the country. I sat on a stoop. Yeah. I battled on the corner. We were nowhere near the loop. I'm talking ah. down twenty second, all over Western. I, I don't know my Chicago geography that great. I do happen to be wearing the Chicago White Sox uh, starter jersey from the '90s here, but. Uh, the loop, I do know, um, the loop is like, I'm pretty certain is like a, is a, well, it's called that because the L goes in a loop around it, but there's like all these trendy upscale kind of touristy attractions in there. I think he's saying it's like, I ain't, I ain't from there, man. I ain't from the fucking loop. I ain't from the good side of town. Bitch, I lived in the country. I sat on a stoop. Uh. I battled on the corner. We were nowhere near the loop. Uh. I'm talking down 22nd, all over Western. I live. Oh, he right there now. Look right there. He said Western right there. These trailer parks, remember, I was born in a trailer park too, man. Straight up born, we lived in a trailer park. I feel you. Bitch, I lived in the country. I sat on a stoop. Huh. I battled on the corner. We were nowhere near the loop. Huh. I'm talking down 22nd, all over Western. I lived in the suburbs. I walked through the desert. I nah. got my first case when you was just a freshman. Nah. What's a pawn to a king, just a lower class peasant? Ah, what's a pawn to a king, just a lower ca class peasant? When I caught my first case, you were just a freshman. He said, I'm an OG, son. I've been in this game. The OG to the core. Western, I lived in the suburbs. Yeah. I walked through the desert. I caught my first case when you was just a freshman. What's up? What's up with this soul food restaurant he's in front of right there? Is that still open? Is that good? Is that is that like a known place in the hood that's like dope? Let me know in the comments if you have any idea. Pawn to a king, just a lower class pet. Run for the money, better run for the hills. Two to get it cracking, talking shit will get you killed. Three to get it popping, I ain't talking about them pills. And four will get you stuck in the mud around here. Run for the money, better run Bruh. for the hills. Two to get it cracking, talking shit will get you killed. Three to get it popping, I ain't talking about them pills. And four will get you stuck in the mud. Oh yeah, see, there's, that's the loop right there on the map. Yeah, right. It's like one of the few things I know about Chicago. Uh, hell yeah, dog. Oh, man, that was banging. That has such an old school vibes to it, man. Right up my alley. I felt so Wu Tangy on there, man. The, it was the piano and the bells in the background with, with that with that synthesizer over that top, like that just. Fuck, that was hard, man. That was so dope. That was so dope. I hope we get a new album coming out. Dude has been dropping mm. some music, man. Oh, my God. What was the last rap song he did? Was it that remix of uh, the Mob Deep, Shook Ones Part 2? Man, that was fucking amazing, dude. His wordplay. The bars on here were really tight. This beat was... Um, man. I'm, just, I, I, I'm, thinking, I'm trying to think, is that my favorite Adam Calhoun beat I've ever heard? It might be. It might be. I might. I might. I might have to. I might have to say that is it. That was so incredible. Like in his voice on the chorus when that came through, it's so much smoother. He's singing more confident now. Is what it is. You can hear it. You can hear the confidence. And he's, he's just letting it go. You can hear that. that sounded great, cause that shit was awesome, man. I, I really like that. If you can't tell, let me know in the comments what you thought of that, please. Let me know. You think we're getting a new album from Adam Calhoun here? Whew. Let's keep our fingers crossed, everybody. I hope you like this as much as me. Please consider subscribing. Like I said, go to the LVME.com if you want to support the channel at all. 
I'll catch you all on the next video. All right, cool hanging out. See you.